It's a cooking season. Boy, everything a natural ingredients. Dash with the pill and use your greens and boy. Island style kitchen not teaching, so what you know? Yeah, we out up on the farm till the soil. I tell food we have a patati ya boil. Friday festival, then all the real coat that aisle. Had the calabash we use to drink the vervine, yeah. This a channel that I bring back the culture. Welcome back, all my beautiful people. Welcome back to Island Style Kitchen. And if you're new to the channel, welcome to Island Style Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make this smoothie. As you can see from the thumbnail, it's called a green monster smoothie. Yeah man, all natural smoothie. And this smoothie is one that you can use for breakfast. If you are going on a diet, if you want to lose some weight, you could use this smoothie for breakfast because it's packed with nutrients and protein. All right, everything your body need. And this one will energize you for an entire day. Yeah man, all right, so just stay tuned and I'm going to show you all the ingredients that I'm using in this smoothie, okay? Before we get into the video, you see, if you're new to the channel, please like this video, share, comment, and drop a subscribe, and show Island Style Kitchen some love. Stay tuned. Okay, so the ingredients that I'm using for this smoothie, over here, we have some meringue, aka moringa. I have some chopped ginger here. I have kiwi, avocado. I have some celery juice, some cucumber juice. I also have a ripe banana I'm going to put in it for a sweetener. I have some green grapes and I have some spinach. I'm going to use some flaxseed in there. I have some chia seed. I'm going to put a teaspoon of spirulina. I have the hemp protein. So you can use a protein of your choice though. You don't have to use the hemp protein, but I prefer the hemp protein for this particular smoothie. All right, and then you don't know, you're going to want your blender. All right, so we are going to jump right in right now because this is a very quick video today. Yes, so we're going to get into the process of making this green monster smoothie. All right, you see the smoothie though, when you make the smoothie, I would advise you not to drink too much of it one time because if your body is not used to it, you take your time and introduce your body to it so it don't cause you to have too much of a diarrhea. All right, so you see the meringue? All right, so let us stay tuned and watch what's popping in an island style kitchen. Okay, so this is the meringue plant. In Jamaica, we call it meringue. Uh, I think they call it moringa. I'm not sure you could go and Google it and check out the correct name for it. All right, but this is very, 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 very nutritious for you. You can eat the leaves green or raw. You can steam them. You can put them in a soup. You could use meringue for, as a garnish. You could use it to do whatever, but I'm using it in a juice today. All right, over here now, a lot of people always see this and I get in my comments, what's in this jar? This is the meringue seed or moringa seed. All right, so I normally take the seeds from the beans and I put them up. And it's always healthy for you to eat two of these a day or one of them a day. You could chew the whole thing up if you want and eat it just like that. It have a sweetish, then it have a bitterish taste. Or you could break the, break it open and take the nut outs that's inside of it. See this little white thing here? When you kind of eat it as a sweet chocolate taste. Yeah. So meringue good for your people. And you can make sure. As of today, I'm going to start eating meringue seed. And as I said to you before, don't take my word for it. You could go and Google it. Research meringue, moringa. Research spirulina. Spirulina is very good also. Very high nutrients and protein and everything. So check out spirulina, people. Remember, meringue and spirulina. Go and do your research on it. I'm going, I'm, I'm going to put a link below in my description. So you can go and read the health benefits of spirulina and meringue. All right? So walk in with me now. All right, so I'm going to start off with the grapes in the blender. Then I'm putting in the spinach. It doesn't matter what order you put them in, the people. Some people said to put liquid first. Some people said to put fruits first. Some people said to put ice first. But I'm not using any ice. I'm just using um, the fruits and the juice. You don't have to take the stick out, people. I just choose to take it out. So you can let it stay inside there. Alright, so we have our kiwi here in the blender. Avocado, healthy fats avocado. Our ginger. I already have ginger in, into the um I already have ginger in the cucumber juice and the 
celery juice, but I'm adding more ginger because I'm a ginger fan. I love ginger. I'm gonna go in with a banana. You could put two bananas. If you don't want to put banana, if you don't like the taste of banana, you could always use a, a fruit of your choice or you don't have to put any um, banana in it. All right, so I'm going to go in with a teaspoon. I'm actually going to use two teaspoons of flaxseed because this is going to be two servings. If I'm doing one serving, I'll use one teaspoon of flaxseed. And I'm going to do the same for chia seed. Chia seed and flax seeds, they are very healthy. So people, remember, go and read up on everything that I'm telling you. Don't take my word for it. I am not a doctor. But I'm going to put the link for the chia seed, the flax seed, the spirulina, and the moringa in my description below. I'm going to go in with a teaspoon of spirulina. I'm going to use two teaspoons of hemp protein. So this is a vegan protein. If you're not a dairy user, or if you do not consume dairy products, you could always use hemp protein as a replacement. All right, then I'm going to go in with some cucumber juice. And then I'm going to go in with some celery juice. All right, so now I'm going to work my magic. Heads up state, my people. Maybe I'm going to place this sun up. May food come first. Island style. Okay. Smoothie ready. See your green at this, people? Green like the Hulk. So here you have it people, this is island style kitchen green monster smoothie. I garnished it with a piece of lime. Beautiful isn't it? And I think it tastes even better. So let me try it. Mm. Yes people, you know most smoothie, green smoothie it tastes disgusting. This is a perfect smoothie for you to start off with if you're not a smoothie lover especially the green smoothies because this one it doesn't there's no bitter taste in it it just got that ginger flavor with the taste of the the apple juice and uh, the grapes it's just yummy you guys should definitely try this one if you're if you're if you want to start off in smoothies start off with this one i have another detox smoothie on my channel you could go and check that one out also the ingredients that i'm using in this video the celery juice and uh, cucumber juice, they are all fresh homemade juice. I made it myself. I have a video here. I'll, I'll, um, you can go and check out the celery juice video, or you can go and check out the cucumber juice video. So, what I do, I use those juice to make my smoothie so it doesn't get too thick. Because, like, when you blend celery in a smoothie, sometimes it tends to have that hard bit of roughage that people can take. I don't mind it, but I find it easier to make my smoothies this way and, I, and plus I get all the ingredients in there one time. Alright, so thank you guys very much for watching and if you enjoyed this video, please share this video out to some family member or friends. Give the video a thumbs up for me please. Leave a comment and tell me what you think about this video or if you have a smoothie recipe you want to share you could leave it in the comments below and I'll definitely try it. And also do remember. Hit the red button and show Island Style Kitchen some love. I do appreciate your support. Thank you very much again for watching this video. And I'll see you on the next episode of Island Style Kitchen. One love, stay safe, peace out.